afternoon. I'm Bill Vondersek from Rec and Parks, and I just wanted to mention uh, what a great job Stephanie and all the skateboarders did. This is a great partnership. The next uh, section is going to cost about $450,000. She went and got about half of it from the state. The mayor kicked in the other half. Stephanie threw in some money for design. Uh, this is a very easy project to get behind, these kind of projects where uh, you have such a passionate leader like Stephanie to pull everything together. I do want to take... Hello? I do want to take one second and mention... Uh, a couple members of the Rec and Park staff. Adam Borman is the landscape architect who's gonna oversee this. And with our staff, Jim Fendrick and Albert, they'll oversee the construction. So big round of applause for them. They did this part. They'll do an equally great job on the next part. All right, thank you again. That was Bill Bondersack, the interim director of Baltimore City Department of Recreation and Parks. And I've worked with him for the past 10 years. Um, towards this goal. We have a lot of great speakers here tonight, and I'd like to introduce Madam Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Good evening, everyone. I am so proud to be here and happy to celebrate phase two of the groundbreaking of Roosevelt Skate Park. Baltimore has some of the finest parks in the nation, and Roosevelt Park is one of them featuring a recreation center, swimming pool, ball fields, and, a gro and growing skating facilities. Adding amenities like this is not only good for the skateboarding community, but it's good for the city as a whole. And as we enrich the recreation opportunities available to residents and to the public, it's good to have so many uh, great partners. I wanna thank uh, Council President Jack Young for being here. Thank you very much. Delegate Barbara Robinson and Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark as well. Just two years ago, I joined you to celebrate the opening of the skate park. Now we stand together to celebrate on, excuse me, I forgot, on National um, Go Skateboarding Day to celebrate the groundbreaking of the next phase. I would like to, to take this opportunity to publicly recognize Stephanie Murdoch and Skate Park of Baltimore for all of your hard work. For the last 10 years, Skate Park of Baltimore has advocated on behalf of thousands of skateboarders in the city. They've partnered with Recreation and Parks, partnered with my administration and other elected officials, and a number of funders to help make today possible. This is evidence that when community and government work together, great things can happen. As you know, providing uh, high quality recreation opportunities in the city is a top priority for my administration, and I will continue to advocate and provide funding for improvements to parks and recreational uh, facilities throughout the city and throughout my term uh, as mayor. We have made unprecedented progress, but there is so much more that we can do. Just on Saturday, I was proud to open a new a uh, dog park in, um, in Mount Vernon, in the Mount Vernon area, and during my tenure, we also opened two new recreation centers, the Rita Church Center and Laurel Park. And tomorrow, we will celebrate the opening of a new gymnasium at Rita Church, and on Thursday, we will reopen the newly expanded C.C. Jackson Rec Centers, Center. These initiatives are all part of my comprehensive plan for recreation in our city the first in more than two decades, and I want to thank our acting director, Bill Vonersack, and the entire Recreation and Parks team for their continued dedicated work and uh, their leadership uh, when it comes to transforming recreation. Is it too early to talk about our accreditation? Is that a secret? We just learned today, and don't tell anybody, that Baltimore is one of only three in the state only one of three recreation and parks department in the entire state of Maryland has national accreditation. And we just achieved that uh, recently. We just got that notification. And this is something that the city has sought for years. So Bill, I wanna thank you and your entire team for your dedication to excellence. That's the only way that we've been able to improve the quality of recreation uh, in our city. So the park, I want to thank the parks crew, the capital development team, and each member of the staff who worked to make this day possible. Thank you so very much, and I hope everyone has 
fun and doesn't I, I hope nobody falls and this is just a I'm so nervous I am so nervous looking at everybody all right have fun everybody thank you so much all right I want to uh, invite a few more guests onto the stage we have with us today uh, State Delegate Barbara Robinson City Council President Bernard Jack Young we also have members of the Baltimore City Council, including Mary Pat Clark of the 14th District. Uh, Bill Henry, is Bill here? Nope. Okay. Um, and yeah, so let's hear from Delegate Robinson and uh, Council President Young and uh, Councilwoman Clark. Thank you so very much, Stephanie. You know, it's, it's so good to come down and see the, the fruit of your labor. Uh, Ten years ago when Stephanie came to Annapolis uh, came to our office, Senator Pugh and, and, and I, and talked about her dream of getting state uh, skaters off of Park Avenue and what's the Mount Royal Avenue, which were they were in danger, and building a park here. She saw something that we did not see then, and now we see exactly what she's talking about. And when we came the last time and we saw the, the, the uh, I call it the, the, the skate ring behind us, I had no idea it was going to be that way. And when I saw that, I was so amazed. And then the second half of it is this. And this is 10 years in the making. So I am so glad when she came to us to the Appropriation Committee and talked about her dream and we got behind the dream and we kept putting bond bill in in order to make this come true. I am so proud of Stephanie. I am so proud of her not giving up and her stick to it to this. And this is what happens when you have a dream and persistence and determination behind that dream. So thank you to Stephanie and thank you to all of the other stakeholders that made today possible. Thank you so very much and I am so proud to be a part of this fruition. Thank you so much and have fun. Thank you and good evening to everyone. Um, wow, what a nice crowd out here and I've seen some of the the uh, young men and young women doing those little funny things in there. I mean, I used to go do that stuff one time. Um, we used to have to make our own boards. They didn't have them like that. But um, I, I just admire the, you know, the art, artistic, um, you know, development that you all perform out here. It's just great. I want to thank Stephanie. Stephanie, I, I, I just don't know. She used to come up to the mic to every board of estimates, um, you know, meeting, um, dealing with the budget and talk so passionately about the skate park and what she wants to do. And like Delegate Robinson says, it's a dream come true because I didn't believe that it could happen, but she believed that it could happen. And if she believed that it can happen, it happened. So I just want to thank you for staying in there, hanging in there. And I know phase two is coming, right? Yeah, phase two is coming this summer. And um, I'm looking forward to coming back phase two and whatever we can do to help with the skate park you know you can count on us. So again, thank you for having me here. And uh, next, one of my heroes and my boss and one of the first people to uh, ever lend an ear to our plight for a public skate park, Mary Pat Clark. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I was one of the first people to say, oh, a skate park, that's great, just so I don't have to skate. I've got lots of son-in-laws and grandchildren who come here and love it, so I'm part of the family that way. Um, I want to thank the mayor for being here and for all the work and help she has um, given to make this a reality. The president of the city council, he works with Stephanie all the time. He's right. She steps up on Taxpayers' Night and tells us how wonderful Reckon Parks is because she's always getting those bond issues and money to build this park bigger and bigger. And so we're going to celebrate today the groundbreaking the cork popping for the new expansion of this park that's going to happen I'm beginning immediately, so thank you for being here, and please don't get hurt. Please don't hurt yourselves. Better days are coming.
keep yourself well for them. All right. I'll get her on a skateboard one day, I think. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have here with us the president of the Handy Community Council, who uh, has given us a lot of support over the years, and she just wanted to say a few words. Shannon Wren. Hello everybody, my name is Shannon Wren. I'm president of the Hamden Community Council and I hope you all become members soon. We're not only very lucky to have the skate park, we're very lucky to have Stephanie as a board member. So we hope you guys participate more in your community and thank you again for coming out tonight. Hi, uh, again, thank you guys for coming. Uh, my name is Mike Sponseller. I'm Stephanie's vice president at Skate Park of Baltimore. Uh, first, I want to I want to thank Councilmember Pat, Mary Pat Clark for allowing Stephanie to dedicate so much time on this side of Falls Road, as it's outside of her district. Um, from Rec and Parks, uh, Adam Borman and Paul Taylor. Uh, they don't get a whole lot of press, but those guys were very helpful in getting things moving and helping us understand and get through the city process. Uh, the Skate Park of Baltimore, just our board members: uh, Mike Hackenberg, Jeremy Plateau, uh, MB Samba, uh, Derek. Whose last name I don't have. Um, Diana Phillip, who, who's our finance coordinator, who kept us in line uh, as everything had us following the rules that we had to do to be a proper 501c3. Joe Fitzpatrick, who was the head of the design committee, uh, who dealt a lot with the feedback from the community and getting this park set up, and uh, who's promised me he's going to be out here every day during construction. Um, and last but not least, Stephanie. I mean, everyone's already, saw, already spoken about Stephanie's persistence. About 2.30 this afternoon, I was pinned down in a rainstorm at a Chipotle and she was stuck in the storage unit. We came out here and the water was out to here on this ledge. Uh, I asked her if she wanted to hold it inside or outside and she said outside and started unpacking the truck. So, it's been said before and let's say it again. Thanks so much to Stephanie Murdoch for putting this together. Two more people that uh, I've known for quite a while that I've skated with that have helped with park advocacy. Uh, Daniel Oliver, I met when he was 14 years old. He actually went to Annapolis with me when he was just 14 years old and eventually helped us raise $200,000 from the state um, because the words from, from him were just so powerful um, when they're coming from someone that's using the park. So, Danny, if you could come on up. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming out, the mayor, all of our uh, state officials, uh, city officials. We really appreciate it. Um, like, like Stephanie said, we've been working at this for quite a long time, her a, couple, a, little, a little while longer than me. And I've watched this, this empty grass pad here turn into a bowl. And now the skate park that I've been skating every day for like 10 years is going to become something great and we've been working hard doing a lot of ad advocacy going to events uh in 110 degree weather and sweating and you know just doing whatever rolling, we can rolling pennies yeah rolling pennies rolling quarters it's not fun i promise <laughs> um we've been doing a lot of things over the years and it's really nice to see all this hard work pay off um stephanie's been extremely dedicated to this uh over these years and I really want to thank her more than anyone because if it wasn't for her, this wouldn't be here and what's to, to come wouldn't be here. So thank you, Stephanie. Thanks, Danny. All right, I'm going to have to take the mic down here for Miss Lorelei. Let's, just, let's come around to the side here. All right, Lorelei has helped us on a variety of events and this, when this park is done, she's going to be here skating all the time. And I was hoping she could tell us about some of the things that she's done to help raise money for the skate park. Okay, I'm going to read some of them for her. When I first met Stephanie, I helped clean up at the park. For cleaning up, she gave me pads and a skateboard, and I was so excited. Get a little picture on it. Do you want to show me another one? Eventually I learned how to skate and I got interviewed. Me and Stephanie got to skate on the news. And I met Ron Matz. I skated a little. My mom said it would get me more attention. 
I went to the mayor's Christmas parade wearing the cutest outfit, also, represent, also representing the balloon. You guys remember that, right? The crazy Ravens balloon that we took down the avenue? That was great. I skated through the whole parade. Of course, my dad had to help me. Thanks to everyone for helping us build a better skate park. Good night. Want to read this one? Yeah, we did a great job. All right. Unless uh, I'm forgetting anybody, I'm just going to say a few words and uh, why don't you guys, hopefully the skies will clear up and we'll get our skate on, get our free snowballs and, and just have a good time, listen to some music. Um, so I just wanted to um, say a few words tonight because, you know, everybody, I feel like everyone's, you know, pointing their finger at me and congratulating me. But truthfully, um, we're joined here today celebrating the groundbreaking of the, fe the second phase of our public concrete skate park. But truthfully, we're celebrating so much more than that. We're celebrating the beginning of summer, the unofficial skate season. We're celebrating Go Skateboarding Day, which is originated as a day for skaters to drop everything else and to have fun skating and to raise awareness about the issues we face. We are celebrating a decade of blood, sweat, and tears, along with the tireless advocacy of hundreds of volunteers that believed in us and worked towards our collective mission to build a world-class public skate park here in the city of Baltimore. We are celebrating raising nearly half a million dollars towards the construction of our second phase street plaza, just two years after the grand opening of our ball. We are celebrating our friends, our family, and our supporters. We are celebrating all of those people that started this journey with us, but will never have the chance to skate this park. We are celebrating our city and state partners, along with the individual donors, foundations, and local merchants merchants who made funding this facility possible. But most importantly, we're celebrating you, the youth of Baltimore, your spirit, your devotion, your dreams. This is your park. This is your space. So please don't call me asking if the skate park's open and what the rules are. <laughs> all of the people here, all of the people that are here tonight are here to say that they respect you and that they value you. So in closing, be sure to call your elected officials and tell them that you want a skate park in your neighborhood. Thanks everybody for coming tonight. Please stick around.